Uh, it was a time of hope when Nelson Mandela was released from prison in February 1990. Many have commemorated the late struggle icon's birthday on Saturday by laying wreaths outside Drakenstein prison in the Western Cape. That's where he was incarcerated during the last days of his 27-year sentence. Our Ronald Masinda has more. When Matiba walked through these gates 30 years ago, he promised a prosperous and peaceful South Africa. This man recalled those days of hope. Yeah, for me personally, you know, I was, I was still young at that stage. Um, I was only in matric in 94. Um, so I, did, I didn't think I, I then realized, you know, um, what, what really happened. It was only afterwards. Um, so I, was, I, I think I was still a bit, you know, in my, in my bubble, <laughs> um, in apartheid's bubble. But afterwards, I, I, I think I, I saw the significance of what really happened, you know. And that is why we are here today, because uh, we want to teach our children about that part of South Africa's history. As South Africa grapples with a pandemic, this man believes Matiba would have done more to help those most affected by COVID-19. If he was around, he would have made changes that he wouldn't tolerate any nonsense. He was a gentle person, soft-spoken, but when it comes to justice and things that's right and wrong, he stood his ground. Nelson Mandela may be gone, but for those here, his legacy is not forgotten. Ronald Masinda, outside of the Drakenstein Correctional Center.